I'm Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. Happy Thursday, and I believe it's Thursday, almost positive, and day two of Vlogmas. Um, today, I thought it would be fun to experiment with something that I haven't experimented with ever. Although I've had the material in the studio for quite some time and have been wanting to. And that is wool roving. I believe that's how you say it. If I'm saying it incorrectly or if that's not what it's called, I'll put a word here of what it is actually called. So I have these jars of it up here in um, various different colors. And here is what it looks like. Um, I know you can um, felt with it and other like fiber artists use it to make bags with and all sorts of things. Um, but it's it comes like in this roll and I believe I just got this at the craft store. It's not real expensive, um, but I think it's wool. I have no idea how the wax is going to react with it. And I also have the heat gun out and not the torch so that nothing catches on fire. The other materials I'm going to be using is uh, two squares of mat board, just regular old mat board. They're just some leftover pieces from other projects that I've done. And the griddle is turned on and heated up. And then of course some encaustic medium, some clear encaustic medium. So um, let's get to experimenting. First up, I'm going to be applying a layer of this encaustic medium to the mat boards. I ended up putting several different layers of the clear encaustic medium on just to make sure I had a good base layer of the encaustic wax. And up next, you'll see I'm pulling this roving apart into small, thin pieces, um, just making sure that most of it will have then contact with the encaustic wax. Okay, my card uh, was full on this camera. So it automatically stopped recording, which was um, lovely and I did not realize it. But basically what I did was I put down some of that wool roving onto this piece that already has the clear encaustic medium on it. And then over that, I applied some more clear encaustic medium to kind of embed that roving down into the other um, encaustic medium. And now I'm going to heat it with the heat gun. So um, you are all up to date. You didn't miss too many steps. So uh, let's get back to this. You'll see throughout this process that I touch the piece quite a bit with my hands. And that's just to make sure that I'm not getting the wax too hot, that it's cool enough to put the next layer on or to heat the next layer up. Here I've decided to add some encaustic paint, some white encaustic paint over the roving and just kind of experimenting to see how that will look. This wool material has a lot of like little tiny flyaways, a lot of little tiny threads. So every now and then you'll see me tucking those in and I just want to make sure that they don't burn too much or I don't melt them with the heat gun. So far it's really working out well and that really hasn't happened, but I'm just applying some more encaustic wax over it to really make sure that that in fact does not happen at all. And again, just layering in some more roving over top of it and uh, it's coming along pretty well.
wanted to show you some close-up areas that I think are pretty interesting with this uh, wool roving. Kind of gives it some, like these little teeny tiny threads in there. They're, they're really interesting to me. Kind of gives it like a veiny kind of look. Um, definitely worth experimenting with. So I'm going to um, obviously continue to experiment with, but up next I wanted to try a different thing, but I just wanted to show you some close-ups of this. This is almost, um, I almost think there's too much wax here because you don't get that. I really like this area in here and this other textured area you can get without the wool roving. You can do it with just encaustic wax, but this I think is uh, really interesting. I have decided to apply some encaustic medium directly to the roving prior to putting it onto the mat board with the encaustic medium on it. So to do this, I've decided to put some gloves on to protect my hands because I'm going to be placing this right on the griddle, applying some encaustic medium to it, and then picking it up so my hands could get quite a bit of wax on it. Not that it would hurt them, but why not protect them just a bit? Once I get the roving down, I kind of go over it what I would call dry brushing over it, where I'm just putting a really light, light layer of the caustic medium over it, trying not to get too much wax over the roving. And here you see, I decide to apply some ink. And I'm just rubbing that down in all of the nooks and crannies, and then I'll be rubbing the majority of it off, letting it really set in. be putting this piece off to the side to dry and while this piece dries I'm going to continue on with the next one and I decide to roll that wool up in to make more of like a solid piece of wool if you will versus more of like the webbing material so I decided to experiment with rolling it and see how that works and you will see I have some issues again with the camera well, this time the camera battery died. Um, not a good day for cameras, apparently. Um, at any rate, I'm going to flip the, this camera around now that I've changed the battery and show you what I've done and kind of explain what I've done. All right, so this one I waited for the green ink to completely dry, fused it into the wax, and then also went back over it and hit all the highlighted areas with some white wax. And then of course fused that white wax in, and then I went over all of the raised areas with some hand pastel to kind of give it that uh, purpley look there. This one, I added some uh, green pan pastel and also some copper gold leaf up here some more white on the background areas. And then it kind of reminded me of trees. So I, I used um, some Neocolor crayons and made um, some trunks here. I'm not sure that I would consider either one of these two pieces completely finished artwork, but I am happy with how they came out. I'm happy with how that wool roving, the encaustic medium really soaked into that and how it also um, adhered nicely to the encaustic medium on the boards. I will definitely be experimenting around more with that wool roving as I have quite a bit of it. 
and it's fun to use. I have a lot of ideas kind of rolling around in my head as to what else I could do with it, and um, so stay tuned for that. For now, I'm going to get this mess cleaned up and edit this video and also probably make some dinner. I'm hoping you are enjoying these little Vlogmas videos. I know I'm not completing an entire uh, painting or a large painting or anything like that, but I'm having fun experimenting. I'm hoping that you guys are um, enjoying the process as well. If you are, you know what to do. Give this a great big thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed and would consider doing so, I would so very, very much appreciate that. I will most likely see you tomorrow, but just in case, if you hit that bell down there, that will notify you when I release a new video. Again, thanks so very, very much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Happy Vlogmas and bye for now.